guys welcome back to Beauty Fortified. If you're new here welcome my name is Sue and today I'm talking about my top five setting powders for mature skin. So a little bit about my skin. I'm 50 years old. I've got fine lines, wrinkles and enlarged pores. So I do have quite a bit of texture and I've also got normal combination skin. So what do I look for in a setting powder? I look for something that's going to set my makeup, that's going to blur my pores and minimize the look of the texture and also something that's going to absorb oils throughout the day because with normal combination skin I do find that I do get oils that start peeking through throughout the day. So these are five that I use in rotation and I love all of them for different reasons so I'm going to take you through the five that I use and that I would recommend for mature skin. So the first one is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. Now this is a loose powder. It comes in, I think there are three different shades and it's got a little sieve at the top. So you just shake it up, you get a little bit of product onto the top and then you use that to pat over your makeup. Now I really love this one and of all the five that I'm describing I would say that this is probably the workhorse of all of them and by that I mean that I literally use it once a day. I use it in the morning and I find that I don't need to retouch. I do blot my skin throughout the day if it is a little bit oily but I don't really need to apply. So this is quite a foolproof one in terms of absorbing oil. I find that it really does smooth my texture. It does minimize the look of my pores. It can look quite powdery when you first apply it, but then it kind of settles into the skin. And it's a really good one. I have repurchased and absolutely love that one. Secondly, I've got my Rimmel Stay Matte. Now, this is a great drugstore one. I find with this one I do really need to use it a couple of times throughout the day so it doesn't really have the same longevity as the Revlon but I really love it nonetheless. It's very smoothing on pores. It's great that it comes in a compact. There's no mess, no fuss. You just dab a little bit onto a brush, powder it onto your skin and really like this one would highly recommend. Now sticking with drugstore but going down the spectrum. I've got two here from Essence and I like these for different reasons. So the first one I've got is the mattifying compact powder and it does what it says on the tin. It really is a great mattifier. This one also comes in a good couple of shades. I've got the shade, this is medium beige. And I really like this one. It's very similar to the Rimmel Stay Matte. It's not as finely milled as the Rimmel Stay Matte but it really does a great job of smoothing the skin, of absorbing excess oils. Again, you need to use it a couple of times throughout the day, but it's very easy to transport. It comes in a handy compact and it really is a great workhorse as well. So I would highly recommend the Essence Mattifying Compact. Then I've also got the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder and it's light yellow in color as the name would suggest and this is really a brightening and mattifying powder all in one and they say a uh, mattifying compact in soft yellow perfect for concealer baking and for use as banana powder to set matte highlights. Now I just use it as an all over setting powder and I really like this one because it does give you a little bit of a brightening effect. So I just take a little bit on a brush, tap off the excess and anywhere that I'm oily I just powder down and I love this one. It's just got the added benefit of brightening the skin so really really do enjoy that. That's the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. And then last but not least I've got the number seven. This is called the Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder. And this has to be my Rolls Royce of finishing powders. So it comes in a beautiful silver compact. You can't get it in South Africa. I got this one from my friend in Alaska, Agnes. And it's a beautiful, finely milled, very, very soft setting powder. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It really, of all the powders that I've described, it's the one that really does blur your pores. It's absolutely beautiful on the skin 
And they say your best looking skin instantly smoother and more radiant. And I really find this is a really luxurious finishing powder, setting powder. So if you can get your hands on this, I would highly recommend. It really is beautiful to use and does mattify. You do need to apply it throughout the day, but it really does a great job of just smoothing the skin. If you do have a little bit of texture like I do, it doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. Absolutely brilliant for mature skin. So those are the five setting powders that I use in rotation and that I would recommend for mature skin. Let me know what setting powders you absolutely adore, ones that you can't live without. Please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao.